everyone, welcome back to my channel. Looks a little different around here. If you follow me over on Instagram, you know that it is Daisy Jones week. I am recreating some outfits and having some fun uh, to celebrate my love for this book and this series. So for this video, I'm actually going to be showing you some Daisy Jones inspired outfits using some pieces I already own in my closet and some that you might have seen if you've been following um, in the Free People Daisy Jones collection. So, Let's transport back in time a little bit. For this outfit, I was inspired by Daisy's love for denim shorts, cowboy boots, and bohemian style tops. These shorts are actually from the Free People Daisy Jones collection. And then I paired them with this really pretty flowy top that is also from Free People that I really, really love. It's a little sheer. I have on a bralette underneath it, but if I was to wear regularly, I could just put a tank underneath as well. I have these cowboy boots already from a trip to Charleston. They're by a brand called Tacovas, And of course, my big hoop earrings that I wear on the regular anyway. So there you go. So for this outfit, I was inspired by one where she's wearing a denim top in the show. I don't have a denim top, but I do have this one. And I paired it with my favorite jeans from Express, some fun new platform sandals I got from Target, and then I love this bag from Free People. It's macrame and beaded. Of course, the hoops go very Daisy in this one. Another Daisy inspired outfit. She wore an outfit similar to this one with this really pretty crochet and leather uh, halter top, I think. This top was the closest I had to that in my closet. I got it from a boutique. Paired it with my flares. These fun platform sandals. I have a cork bottom from Target. And then I got this bag, this suede, crossbody bag from Free People that I'm really loving. So I feel like it's pretty close to what she wore in that episode. So for this outfit again, I was inspired by Daisy's love for denim shorts and cowboy boots. I have these boots here. These are from Jeffrey Campbell. I love them. I would have them in multiple colors, honestly. Um, I have this pair of black denim shorts, my little update on the shorts here. These are actually my favorite pair of shorts from Old Navy. They're always a great price and they fit even better than some of my favorite pairs from higher end brands. So totally recommend the shorts. And then this top is another free people find. I loved the mix of different fabrics. You have some lace, you have some fabric with a little bit of a stripe detail, really pretty buttons. It's flowy, it's fun. You can tuck it in if you wanted. So I'm feeling this whole vibe. Added a hat for fun. Perfect spring summer outfit. I would totally wear this. So this outfit was inspired by an episode where Daisy had on these really great red flare pants and this really cute tie front blouse. Kind of worked with what I had in my own closet here. I had this pair of rust colored corduroy flares that I love. I have on my Target clogs. I don't think these are available anymore, but we'll link something similar. Great Target find. And then I have this flowy blouse that's also from Free People. She has her hair half back and she's got on her big hoop earrings. And then of course I uh, just love this suede bag. It's like that perfect hobo style bag that I've always loved, so. Feel like I recreated it pretty good. So Daisy wore a lot of kimonos, a lot of crochet. I kind of combined both of those. I have this really fun, like rust orange crochet kimono that I just got in the mail from Anthropology that I love. She's always wearing a lot of cropped shirts too. Of course, you don't have to wear a cropped top, but I just found this cropped sweater top that I had in my closet, paired it with some flares, and then I have a pair of low white, Western style boots to kind of complete the look. So there's this one episode where Daisy has on this oversized men's shirt. <laughs> and while I don't have that, I felt like this was a pretty good alternative. It's a tunic dress. I did, this is what the, the collar actually looks like, but in order to show off my layered necklaces, which she does frequently too, they kind of all do in the show, I just tucked it in to my lace bralette, got my big earrings on. And then just to make it a little more 70s, I have on my cowgirl boots again. So 
there we go. Just a fun update on a dress that I already have worn this spring. So this outfit is inspired by another look Daisy had in the show. She has on a crochet top that has a cute little fringe tie and then a kimono over it that's short, but I felt like this shirt kind of emulated that with just being one shirt. This is also a great outfit if you like the overall vibe but don't wanna like fully commit, you know what I'm saying? So I paired this shirt with my favorite flares, again, with these fun cork heeled uh, platform sandals and then the macrame bag. This is something you could very easily wear for 2023 while still giving off that 70s vibe. So this last outfit is kind of my ode to the whole book and series. I got this Aurora t-shirt on Amazon. I will link it for you guys below. Paired it with some black denim shorts and my cowgirl boots. I feel like it's a very Daisy Jones look mixed with their band tee. Uh, this kimono is actually from Free People. It's a burnout kimono, so it's really pretty. There's like velvet mixed with um, almost this like sheer fabric. Super fun. So yeah, that completes the outfits I created to kind of emulate Daisy Jones from what I had in my closet. Hope you guys enjoyed. This was super fun for me. I just genuinely loved the book and the series. So been kind of fun creating my own little Daisy Jones world over here. Be sure to subscribe, comment with your favorite outfit below. And of course, all the links will be below in the description. See you guys next time.